Praise God, praise God. Praise God. In the presence of the Most High God. Well, as you can see, I don't look like the lady on the flyer. <laughs> Hallelujah. I look a little different. Um, just a little bit. Little, just a little bit. Just a twinge. twinge. So, um, Pastor Latanya Blake Allen uh, 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 contracted COVID, tested positive for COVID. Uh, she called me on Friday, right after I sent out the email. <laughs> and I was still right this high and you know it's interesting because um, I was talking earlier to some ladies God prepares you yes. he gives you the heads up if you're willing to listen and so um, uh, you know we plan things we do we plan things and Lord knows I've been I have learned through a lot of trial and error. Mm -hmm. Girls, stop planning and let him do. <laughs> His plans will always prevail. Yeah. Yeah. And you know, as much as I wanted to be like you all this weekend, just sit and enjoy, mm -hmm. have fun. And and I was just like, I can't now. I just, I just, I just. And the Lord let me know, sit down and play some games. <laughs> Go on, sit down. And Friday, I got a chance to sit down and play. And you know, it's interesting. I called my dad when all this was happening. I called my mom for, I called my dad, and he didn't answer. I called my mom. I said, what's the worst thing you think that could happen? And my mom was like, I don't know. What's going on? <laughs> I said, well, your husband's calling me. I got to go. <laughs> so I, um, I told my dad, and I said, I need to talk to my pastor. And then I can talk to my dad. I just need to talk to my pastor first. But my dad showed up on the call. <laughs> Which is all right, because I got a good father, and I'm grateful for him. And he had a lot of questions and a lot of things. And then he began to pray. I said, Dad, I just need you to pray. Yes. And my father prayed for me. And I'm grateful because as he was praying, the Lord showed me, this is how you pivot. Because mm -hmm. early in prayer that morning, Sister Dolores leads our prayer line. And Sister Dolores began to pray for me. I'm in the shower because I multitask. After I pray, I'm in the shower. Mm -hmm. Just so y'all know. Okay? <laughs> Why you need to know? I'm telling you. So happy. <laughs> so after I pray, I go in the shower because I got to be ready for my day because I, I have a job. But she prayed, and as she was praying, God was giving me things. And I was like, God, this feels like a message. I'm supposed to just do a workshop. You don't preach in a workshop. You're supposed to talk and enjoy. That was at six something that morning. By nine, eight something is when I got the call. And it was 8.45 when my dad prayed and God showed me how to pivot. And so here's what we're gonna talk about today. We're going to examine what you all have already done during the verse, verse mapping. But I have one major question to ask you. And this is the crux of the message. It's the crescendo as well as the ending. Do you trust God to give him a blank check in your life? Do you trust God to give him a blank check in your life? Let's get into the word. Right. Father, in the name of Jesus, God, I thank you that this day you already saw. Mm -hmm. You already fore, foreknew and predestined every person that's in this seat, God. So, God, remove me from this podium. And, God, you speak to the hearts of your maidservants who you crafted in utter seclusion in their mother's womb. And, God, you minister to them like only you can. Help them to receive what it is that you have for them, that we might be the better in the days to come. So God, let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable unto your sight, O Lord, for you are my strength and my redeemer. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 First Chronicles, we read earlier, it's in your, it's in your uh, journal or your 
It's in your journal, and it's also in your program. Amen? Amen. Reading out of the New King James Version as you have it in your program. First Chronicles 4, verses 9 and 10. Now Jabez was more honorable than his brothers, and his mother called his name Jabez, saying, I, because I bore him in pain, and Jabez called on God, on the God of Israel, saying, Oh, that you would bless me indeed, and enlarge my territory, that your hand would be with me, and that you would keep me from evil, that I may not cause pain. So God granted him his request. Here's the thing, you all. We, can, we discussed earlier the word honorable and different things pointed out for different folks. When I typed in honorable person in the dictionary into Google, really, and the dictionary came back with saying an honorable person is someone who believes in the truth and doing the right thing. So he was more honorable than his brothers. We don't even know the names of Jabez's brothers, but we know that Jabez was more honorable. We don't know much about his daddy or his mama and them outside of how she named him. But there was something about Jabez where he says, you know what, I, my name might be pain, but I don't want to live like that no more. Some of you all and some of us have been born into family dynamics that have been painful. Amen? Amen. There's been some challenges in the home. Mother, father, Amen. sister, brother, you name it. It's been some pain. And, and sometimes we think pain is going to be our portion. Amen. Sometimes we have resolved ourselves to the dysfunction of our life. But Jabez and I recommend that we all get like him. When we, when we pray to the God of Israel, say, Oh, God, that you would bless me indeed. Yes, yes. yes. Lord God, I, I, I just want you to enlarge my territory and increase my coast in certain translations. But God, I want you to keep me from pain. Mm. God, and keep me from being a pain. Mm. Being a burden. Mm -hmm. yeah. God, I need you to touch me. Tony Evans writes in his, in his commentary, he says, literally, he gave, he gave God a blank check, and that messed with me for a while. And the Lord turned that thing around like, like you put a nickel on a record and keep on spinning. Do you trust me enough to give me a blank check in your life? Let's talk about it, women of God. Do you trust anybody in your house <laughs> to have a blank check? <laughs> Listen, I can give you a blank check, but I know how much it's worth. <laughs> Down to the cent. Put a comma if you want to. <laughs> you stepping out on faith. You don't catch me at the end of the month. Hallelujah. I get. I'm, I tell you, I'm on a fixed income. We're getting paid once a month. But we have to understand that that even in our natural life, we don't trust people like that. Right. Right. We don't trust folks. I. Mm, I don't like the way she did her potato salad. <laughs> she can't cook for me. I don't like the fact that when I see them, they always wrinkle. You know, I'm, okay. We don't do that. I'm just, I'm just keeping it one hundred. You can offend a person one time, and now they don't rich you all for the rest of your life. And they going around offending, 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 double offend, and ain't nobody said nanu or boo to them. That's how we are as people. We're so fickle. We're so sinful, mm -hmm. yeah. flesh-based, yeah. corrupt. And you know what's interesting? We, in our humanity, in our finite wisdom, mm -hmm. let me not even say wisdom, our finite knowledge, mm -hmm. our finite education, mm -hmm. we say, I know what's best. Mm -hmm. 
honey, honey, no, no, no. Pots don't go over there, they go here. <laughs> but that don't make sense because the stove is right here. Why are you gonna put it up here? It makes sense to me, it's my kitchen. Mm -hmm. right? She's laughing because she knows. <laughs> <laughs> we're so we so think we know that what we need and how we need it that we approach God the same way we pray oh God God I need you to bless me God I need you to Okay, let me be very specific. I need you to do the following things. This, I need you to get rid of her. I need you to tell him he was wrong. I need you to tell my kids that I really want diamonds this birthday. And not diamonds, the white diamonds, the perfume. You know, we, you know how we get? We approach God the same way. God, I, I want you to do it like this. And in reality, we need to be, Lord, let your will be done in my life. Yes, yes. yes. God, I don't know what's best for me. I don't know what you have in store for my life. I don't know what I even need, oh God. Do you remember that people taught us how to breathe? It's innate to some degree, but if you got asthma, you know what I'm talking about. No, 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 you, you, you're, you're rasping your breath. You need to control your breathing. Those who labored your children, no, no, no. Don't do this. Do <laughs> so if somebody has to tell us how to do a simple function how do we think we can tell God what it is that we need in our life mm. alright we're, we're, we're almost done do you trust him and the way if you want to know if you trust him enough is because your relationship matters point number one out of that question, your relationship matters. Do you know God enough to trust him with a blank check in your life? What do you know? Of, we used to sing a song in church. What you know about Jesus? He's, he's all right. He's all right. But do you know him? Or have you just heard about him? You, you kind of, you know, I've seen a few things. I really like that one song. That sounds good. I heard he's a wonder in my soul. Oh, fun. What's that? <laughs> but do you know him? Yeah. The word of God lets us know over in Revelation, where I've been stuck lately in Revelation 19, the mm -hmm. scripture says that the rider of the white horse, whose name is Faithful and True. Yeah. Yeah. Camille, do you know him to be faithful mm -hmm. and true? Has God ever failed you? And I had to look back over my life, and 39 years might not be long to some, but for me, it's been a lifetime. Mm -hmm. And I can say, God, you've been good to me. Yes. I remember my first car accident. I remember sneaking out of the house. I remember doing God, and you kept me. Yes. Yes. God, because you have plans for my life. Yes. You thought about me before you even spoke the, the world into existence. Mm. Before there was time, God had you on his mind. It's not a cliche, it's the truth. Yeah. So if you know him, why don't you trust him mm. with a blank check in your life? Why don't you trust him to say, God, any way you bless me, I'll be satisfied. Yeah. Why are we so meticulous in the detail of what it is? Now, I know somebody said, well, the Bible says we can ask and God will get, yeah, okay, yeah, let's, let's talk about that. Jump over to John 15, verse 7. When you get a chance, read all of John 15. Read all of the book of John. If you want to know more about Jesus, read your Bible, for sure. <laughs> but definitely read the book of John. Mm -hmm. John 15, Jesus is talking. He's helping them know. And I'm just going to pull out a verse 7 real quick. Verse 7, he says, if you abide in me, mm -hmm. and my word yeah, abides in you, 
You will ask what you desire and it shall be done for you. If my word abides in, but first you got to abide in him. You got to you got to take your residence. You got to change your address from anxiety ridden avenue over to God. I'm trusting you over on straight street. Do you feel what I'm saying? Yeah, all right. All right. They got to take a time from going from depression now to rejoicing. Do we want to abide in him? Listen, life ain't never going to be a flowery bed of eaves. I'm not here to sell you no pipe dream. Jesus didn't say it was going to be like that, so why would I tell you that? Jesus said in this, in this life you will have tribulation. But don't be overcome over that. Don't be taken back by that. Don't quit. I've already overcame. If you abide in me, mm -hmm. if you get in relationship with me, if you go to me more than you go to Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter, Facebook, LinkedIn, X, used to be Twitter. <laughs> if you would go to me before you go to your trusted friend, if you would tell, hallelujah, if you would tell me how you feel, the good thing is he's not like, oh my, oh, oh, in me, I did not know you felt oh, that way. <laughs> Nikki, why didn't you tell me? He, he said, baby, tell me all about it. I know how they hurt you. I know the pain that you're feeling. I know the disappointment, but I'm here, oh God. Hallelujah. Oh God, he loves us. Yes. yes. With an everlasting love. Yes. He just wants us to abide Amen. in him. Yes. When we abide in him and his word abides in us, Amen. do you know he changes your taste buds for what you want? Yes. 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 Amen. Oh. He changes your desires. Because yes. what you thought you wanted, oh, so bad. Mm. Speaking from experience. <laughs> What I thought I wanted oh so bad, God said, let me talk to you for a minute. Mm -hmm. Because I know what you need, how you need it, when you need it, and who you need it from. Trust me. Mm -hmm. Choose him and you'll never go wrong. That's right. Psalms 37 and 4. If you want to know why you can... Be yourself with the Lord. Read the book of Psalms. Mm -hmm. Read how Asaph and David and the different Levites and Moses in chapter 90 would just tell God how they felt. Yes. Gone are the days of us believing, oh, I can't, I can't ask God why. Mm -hmm. Said who? Mm -hmm. Job understood he can talk to him. Mm -hmm. Abraham had a full conversation. Moses even negotiated. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Abraham said, what about this? What about that? Talk to him. Yeah, man. Read over in the book of Psalms 37 and 4. The scripture says, delight yourself in the Lord and he will give you the desires of your heart. Yes. Now, because God knows you at the very heart of who you are. Do not try to, to think that you can approach God like, okay, I'm going to do everything today the way you want me to do it. And by midnight, God, you better fix this right now. You tripping. Are we approaching God like he's some type of Uncle Ben instant rice? I'm going to put you on the pot in five minutes. You better give me what I want. Are we treating God like our proverbial Santa Claus? Are we treating God like a genie in the bottle? How are we approaching the majesty and the might and the power, the infinite wisdom of God? How do you see him? Because how you see him could also mean how you respond to him. So when God starts shifting people and things out of your life, you want to 
I said, this God, not that. I, I want this. And God said, you keep holding on to it, it's going to kill you. Mm. It might not kill you physically, but in your soul you'll be dead. Yeah. Mm. Be dried up, the effectiveness gone. You holding on to this. We have to get to a point in our life where we say, God, I want what you want from me. All right. Yeah. And mean it. Yeah. 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 Just mean it. Mm -hmm. Some of y'all want God to be a blanket right now. That's why we're about to be done. <laughs> you can see a lot from this vantage point. <laughs> but I hope you're hearing what I'm saying. Yes. Yes. It didn't come this... When anytime someone is preaching or sharing the word, trust and believe it came from God. Let me say this. If the word, if they're preaching the word of God, mm -hmm. know that it came from God, but yes. know that it had to come to them first. Yes. 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 Know that it had to get on their street, mm -hmm. agitate some pictures that they got in their spiritual house, mm -hmm. rearrange the furniture, mm -hmm. shake up some things, yes. mess out, yes. make, put your hole in the drywall of your heart, because God, God held to help me to understand, Camille, I need you to choose me. Mm -hmm. I know you want to be married. Mm -hmm. I know. Girl, I put that in you. Mm -hmm. I gave you the father and the mother that you got for a reason. Mm -hmm. Oh, bless your name, God. Mm -hmm. I know. Thank you, God. Thank I know. I know the concerns that you have, the fears that you have, the trepidation that you have. Will it happen for me? Is my time up? Have I missed my mark? Yes. And God is saying, don't you know that I know you? Yes. I know what's best for you. Yes. I know who's best for you. Yes. And when it's time, it's going to be the best. Yes. 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 Thank you, God. Yes. Glory to you, Thank name. you, Lord. Sometimes we've been going through suffering and trials. For a long time, we've been burdened. But we haven't gave it to God. Right. We've been leaning on our own understanding. Yeah. He talked to me like this, I'm going to do this to him. Yeah. They ain't treating me right on job, I'm going to do that to them. It's a tit for tat, tit for tat, and you ain't getting none of that. Mm -hmm. Ain't nothing getting better. You're having more pain and issues in your own body, in your own mind, because you won't give it to the one who says, I can hold it, yeah. I can bear it, I can make it better, I can yeah. make it new, just trust me. Yes, 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 yes. yes. Oh, God. Yes. Oh, God. All I can tell you, <laughs> saints of God, this retreat, wouldn't even be what it was and is if I didn't allow the Lord to shake up everything in my life. You know, at some point you got to ask yourself, what's more important to you? The approval of man or the approval of God? Your eternal home and glory? Yeah. Or this temporary thing that's going to wipe away. Right. You could be so in love with someone and they can take their last breath, then what? Yeah. Yeah. Then what? Yeah. What you got? What you going to do? Mm -hmm. You could be so mad at someone, unwilling to forgive, and then they gone, then what? Mm -hmm. All the times that you could have said, baby, I'm sorry. Right. I'm sorry I got it wrong. I'm sorry that we've been in offense. I'm sorry. We... <laughs> We spend so much time doing the wrong thing, that, and then we be like, God bless us. Oh, my God. We want to be blessed of God, but don't want to be obedient to God. Oh, my goodness. How can we, ex oh, Jesus, how do we expect only blessings of God, but never correction? 
Never redirection. Never, honey, you was dead wrong for that. Lord, you know what? I'm sorry. Go to her. Mm. What? I didn't hear you. <laughs> Not being obedient. I don't want to suffer from disobedience no more. Praise God. I don't. Now listen, ain't nobody going to be perfect. Stop. I don't want to. It sounds like you're saying, no, I'm not. We all have sinned and fallen short and will fall short, falling short even this present moment. Of the glory of God. But don't you love the fact that he knows and he's factored in your fallen man. Oh, man. He's factored in your wayward mind. He's factored in the fact that you are inconsistent. He's factored in your issues and your trials. He's factored in mama and them, daddy and them, kids and them, husband and them. He's factored it in. And he says at the appointed time, this word going to get in her. Yes. And she's going to look at me for who I really am. Yes. And I'm going to wait on her. Yes. Because I love her so much. Yes. I want women tonight, we're going to open up the altar for prayer. But there's a song that my baby introduced me to before she took her life, took her, took her way, her, she died of cancer and went on to live with God and over in heaven. But one of the songs that she loved is Come to the Altar. Yes. And I want to just say this little part of the song. I'm not going to sing it. I'm going to say it. But it simply asks, are you hurting and broken within? Overwhelmed by the weight of your sin, Jesus is calling. Have you come to the end of yourself? Do you thirst from the drink of the well? Jesus is calling. Oh, come to the altar. The Father's arms are open wide. Yes, yes. Redemption, forgiveness is found in the precious blood of Jesus Christ. It's time, ladies. Oh, God. Some of you don't, you look real good, but you don't know how you really look old on the inside. You feel like I'm dressed up. Can't nobody see how messed up I am on the inside. It still shows, sis. Yes. You wearing it. You feeling it. We see it. And tonight, by the power of the blood Hallelujah. of Jesus, yes. I pray that bonds be broken, yes. that the chains are taken off, Yes. The weight is released. Yes, Lord. That we leave here with new vision. Yes, hallelujah. Yes, hallelujah. New dreams. Hallelujah. Yes, new mindset. New, new revelation that we understand that God, even though I'm going through, and it don't look like what I wanted to, I'm going to trust you. Hallelujah. Thank you, God. I'm going to trust you. For he is faithful yes. and yes. true yes. Yes. he's faithful yes. and true to a yes. thousand generations yes. he's faithful yes. and true yes. don't believe me go over to the book of Genesis meet me over in Exodus step on over into Acts in the New Testament you'll see his faithfulness yes. Yes. and he's true yes. let's stand When's the last time you told God how you really felt? Unapologetically? God, this hurts right here. Maybe you could even form the words. Maybe you just cried. He understood that too. Maybe you moaned out. He understood that as well. But I, I solicit you all. I make an appeal to you all to come to Jesus. Give him your weary and broken heart. Jesus says, come all ye that are weary and heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon me and learn of me, for my yoke is easy and my burden is light. 
He has plans for us. He wants us to enter into his rest. Uh, he wants us to understand that we can trust him with every minute detail of our life. Oh, God. You might want this. You might want that. But God knows how you need it and when you need it. Oh, God. And so tonight, oh, God, with hands lifted and hearts open, in the name of Jesus, God, won't you meet your women, oh, God, where they are, oh, God. Some are dealing with stuff at home that they don't even want to go home. To, oh God. But God, by your infinite wisdom, God, we trust you to do that blank check in our life, oh God. God, if you gotta shake it up, oh God, shake it up. If you gotta take it down, God, take it down. If you gotta build things back up, build it, oh God. In the name of Jesus, oh God. Don't let us leave here the same way, oh God. Help us to be free, oh God. In the name of Jesus. Some of us been stricken with health conditions. But they're only a symptom of us unforgiveness. The symptoms of unforgiving behaviors. It's symptoms, oh God, of not loving ourselves. It's symptoms, oh God. Oh God, and we need you to heal us. Oh God, Jehovah Rapha, the Lord God, who heals us of all matters of sickness and disease. God, won't you heal your women? In the name of Jesus, heal, oh God. Heal, oh God, from anxiety, oh God. Oh God, in the name of Jesus, your word says that perfect love casts out fear, oh God. You tell us in your word to be anxious for nothing, oh God. But through prayer, hallelujah, and supplication with thanksgiving, we can make our requests known unto you. Oh, God, and you'll give us the peace, oh, God, that surpasses all human understanding, oh, God. Oh, God, in the name of Jesus, heal, oh, God. Heal us from fear and depression, oh, God. God, you help us to know that we can cast our cares on you. For you care for us, oh God. In the name of Jesus, oh God. God, you said that you forgive us. And when you forgive us, oh God, you throw it in the sea of forgetfulness, oh God. So God, get rid of our fishing poles, oh God. Get rid of our desire to want to pick up the past, oh God. Rehearse the problems of the past, oh God. Rehearse the pain of yesterday. Jesus. 
Lord. In the name of Jesus. Some of us feeling lost without direction, oh God. Oh God, feeling lost. But God, help us just to look to you. David said, I'll look to the hills from which cometh my help. My help comes from the Lord who made heaven and earth, oh God. Help us to look to you, oh God, who is the author and the finisher of our faith, oh God. Help us to look to you, oh God. When we go through the fiery trials of life, God, help us to know that you're with us, oh God. When we're in the lion's den of affliction, oh God, help us to know that you silence the lions, oh God. God, you said that no weapon formed against us shall prosper. And every tongue that rises against us shall be revealed, oh God. Because that's our inheritance in you, oh God. So God, by your power and by your spirit, let your word come alive, oh God. Yes. Let these scriptures rise up, oh God. Yes. Rise up like yes. on eagles, oh God. Yes. Give us yes. strength, oh God. Yes. Oh God, we need you, God. Yes. Oh God, we need you, God. Oh God, and we know the enemy's mad, oh God. He try to block and stop everybody from coming. Yes. He try to block and stop the word from coming forth, oh God. Yes. He try to block and stop, oh God, from people from hearing the word, oh God. Yes. But we know that he's defeated. Yes. Hallelujah, yes. he's defeated. Yes. He's defeated, oh God. He has no power. He has no authority.
do kiss me, so God. We want things to be changed when we go to the doctor, oh God. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Oh God, bless us indeed. Bless us indeed, oh God. Bless us indeed, oh God. We're taking our hands off of it, oh God. They say, Lord, bless me indeed, oh God.